uh, fruit. So for our final AP Stats project this year, I did mine on TV shows, specifically the favorite TV shows of students at our high school. And to make this study actually work, I made a hypothesis. I believe that the percentage will be over 30% in favor of friends and the office. For this study, I sent a Google form to a bunch of teachers that I have or haven't had, and some people individually. This is pretty random because I had no interference with which teachers told their students to fill things out and which students actually filled it out. In total, I got over 100 responses. The Google form looks like this. The first question asks grade, which really doesn't matter, but I was just kind of curious. The next question says, what is your favorite, one, TV show, animation, live, Hulu, Netflix, etc. I will not judge. And each part of this question is very intentional. I had to change the question originally because one of the first answers was literally three shows. I also put the Netflix part just in case there's some dinosaur that attends the school thinking. Well, I like that big mouth show, but I didn't watch it on the cable, so I don't know if it counts. This ended up backfiring, kinda, as some people just put Netflix. Also, I included the I will not judge part so that people wouldn't change their answers thinking it was too nerdy or something. <laughs> so with all that out the way, let's look at the answers. So this grade pie chart surprises me because I am in very few 11th grade exclusive classes, in fact only one, and that teacher didn't even share my form. Anyways, now we are at the main course. So even though I said I would not judge, I did, and I'm not going to go into what I personally think about these answers, there are also a few joke and unhelpful responses. Joe, Mama. Does Markiplier YouTube count? Something I cannot say in class. HBO Max. You will judge, just silently, it's a natural tendency, if you lied why should I be truthful, therefore, I will not answer. Anyways, you get the point, these answers will obviously not count to the total percentage. Also, any response with multiple shows will include all of those shows, as I guess it's my fault for not specifying just one show at first. So with all of that out of the way, let's look at the results. So the top 5 shows go in this order, Friends, Grey's Anatomy, Vampire Diaries, Criminal Minds, and Outer Banks. Now you can probably notice, The Office isn't even on here. But I did somewhat guess that Friends would be the top show, unfortunately. The Office had only two votes, which honestly really surprised me. In total, 10 votes. Only 10 people out of the original 114 responses. So here are some graphs. This pie chart shows only 25 shows. Even without all of the data, Friends and The Office has only about 16%. This graph shows the amount of how many of each number there is, which I guess shows the diversity in favorite shows of people at this school. In total, there were 68 shows, and 64 of them only had one vote, and 15 of them had two. This table shows the mean, median, sum, min, and max. The sum, 110, is what we use to find the actual percentage of who favored friends in the office. Now let's get into the statistical analysis. You can pause here to see everything. So after all of this, we end up with a p-value of 0.2643 which is significantly higher than our alpha level of 0.05. This means we fail to reject the null hypothesis. In conclusion, the study was not perfect, obviously. The selection of who took the forms wasn't completely random because I didn't do a directly random sample, but I did have no effect over who took the test, which also results in some non-responsive bias. So, take with that what you will. Uh, and yeah, that's about everything I have to say. Uh, thank you for watching.